Hello everybody, welcome back to my game review. I decided to do a, another video for today, and the video I want to make is obviously going to be on, wait for it, wait for it, the PlayStation 3. Some of my most popular videos on my channel are about the PlayStation 3 console. And today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360. Now this might be a video that gets hate from Xbox uh, fans. Um, even though I own an Xbox, um, I still think PlayStation is better than Xbox and always will be. That is just my opinion. But we're going to go back to the seventh generation of game consoles, the Wii, the PS3, and the Xbox 360. And we're not going to talk about the Wii in this video, but we're going to talk about PS3 and Xbox 360 and why the PlayStation 3 beat the Xbox 360 and why it is a better console overall than the Xbox 360. Now, the PlayStation 3 was actually losing to the Xbox 360. For most of the Xbox 360's like, life, it actually dominated the PlayStation 3. But then Sony made the PlayStation 3 slim, they made the super slim, they fixed the whole yellow light of death issue, and um, Xbox 360 had the red ring of death, which obviously the red ring of death really affected the Xbox 360, and on the PlayStation 3 side of things, it wasn't as much of an issue as it was with the 360 when it came to overheating. And believe me, I had an Xbox 360, it got the Red Ring of Death. I then picked up a couple more later on from GameStop and they all had the Red Ring of Death. But the PlayStation 3 Slim and Super Slim are the most reliable um, PlayStation 3 consoles and are way more reliable than the Xbox 360. And the reason why the PS3 came back and destroyed the Xbox 360 is exclusive games plus not just exclu exclusive games but the ps3 you can actually play online for free with all of your friends on microsoft you had to have the you had to like have the xbox gold but you had to actually pay money just to play halo and games like that online while on playstation 3 you hop in you put your uh network settings into your ps3 and you can jump immediately into a game without having to pay extra money for your Wi-Fi. So the PS3 had a whole bunch of exclusives that came out. The PS3 obviously, you know, had the free internet. You know, you didn't have to pay for anything with the PS3. And the PlayStation 3 was a better console and a more reliable console compared to the Xbox 360. Um, both of my PS3 Super Slims are in very amazing condition. Both of them work amazingly. And I love my PS3 Super Slims. And they have done me very well. Again, the 360s. I've, I've had nothing but issues with 360s. I would never ever pick one up ever again. If I want to play 360, I'll just play on my Xbox One because of the you know backwards compatibility but the ps3 was just a great amazing console and even though the ps3 was actually losing that generation i mean the original fat ps3 came out at six hundred dollars the other one was five hundred dollars it was very expensive prices for the ps3 but then sony got their act together they started to make a whole bunch of exclusives um so those exclusives made a lot of people jump over to Sony. Games like God of War, the Killzone Trilogy, and uh, so on. And then you obviously <clears throat> had the free Wi-Fi where you could just pretty much sign into your PlayStation account and jump right into a game immediately. No, you know, no subscriptions or anything like the PS4 and Xbox One and 360. Um, and also, <clears throat> the PS3 was a more reliable console, and you had the Slim and Simple Slim that got a lot more people buying the PS3 because the Simple Slim and the regular Slim, when they came out, they were cheaper than the original fat PlayStation 3, and everyone started to buy PS3s and pick them up, and when everybody started having Red Ring of Death, they all immediately started to jump over to the PlayStation side. Now, it's very close between the 360 and PS3, um, both of them sold a lot of consoles, but the PS3 in the end was able to just barely win against the 360. Now, I'm not going to talk much about the Wii, but the Wii destroyed <laughs> both the PS3 and the 360 when it came to sales. But the PS3 was able to win against the 360 just because of the exclusives, reliability, um, obviously like the free Wi-Fi, and of course... There was no Red Ring of Death. And, you know, I was somebody who had a 360 for years. 
and then I jumped over the PS3. I started off with the PlayStation 2, I went from the PS2 to an Xbox 360, and then when my 360 broke and I kept on having 360, 360 consoles break on me, have the Red Ring of Death, I jumped over to the PS3. Yes, I had a fat original PS3 break on me, it got the yellow light of death, but the PS3 Super Slim has been the most reliable console for me. Never had an issue with the PS3 Super Slim. They're easy to clean, easy to work on. And this is the console that I prefer when it comes to the PS3s in that generation. But anyway, I'm going to end the video. But I just want to talk about why the PlayStation 3 was able to defeat the Xbox 360. And just why it is better in a lot of ways. I mean, you have the amazing exclusives. The free, the free internet. So you can play online for, for completely free, no extra charge, no subscriptions like you do nowadays or with the 360. And of course the PlayStation 3 was a more reliable system. So just because of all these fantastic great games, plus the reliability and obviously the free, you know, free to play online, um, the PS3 just was able to win in the end. And even though I like Halo and Gears of War, um, my 360 would burst up, in burst up in flames every time I would play Halo and Gears of War. Obviously, it didn't go up in flames. I'm just being sarcast sarcastic. But, again, the PS3 won because of a lot of these reasons and because the 360 had a lot of issues with it. Now, if the, X if the Xbox 360 did not have Red Ring of Death and the 360 didn't do that connect BS, it probably would have done a lot better because the connect was a joke. Xbox 360 connect was an absolute joke. Real gamers didn't even play with that crap. And again, if Microsoft knew what they were doing and they didn't have their 360s have these red ring of death issues, then perhaps they might have actually won and came out on top of Sony in the seventh generation of consoles. But because of all the issues that happened, and obviously I think the Xbox, you know, services like buying Xbox Gold, I think that actually affects affects the 360 because, again, who wants to pay to play online where you can get a PS3 and just play for free online? Yeah, the 360 arguably had a better multiplayer online experience than the PS3, but again, I would rather just go online for free and play Call of Duty and, and Killzone and not really have to worry about paying a monthly bullcrap subscription. And I think that Sony should have stuck with that with the PS4. But again, companies nowadays are very greedy than what they used to be. Um, but anyway, with that being said, I'm going to end the video. But yes, the PlayStation 3 is a way better console than the Xbox 360. Yes, this might stall a console war in the comments section. Look, from my personal experiences, the PS3 is a better system. And even though I like the 360, like I do like the 360, I do like Xbox, but PlayStation does things better. And they were able to make the Slim and PS3 Simple Slim, which were cheaper versions of the PS3. And obviously you got the PS1 backwards compatibility, which I really like that the PS3 is all backwards compatible with PS1 games. Um, I thought that was always awesome that I can actually play my entire PlayStation 1 library that I own on my system. So because of the PS1 backwards compatibility, plus exclusive games, plus the free free to play online with whoever you want to want to play with online, um, it was just a better experience in my opinion. And going from the 360 to the PS3 was like, you know, for me it was a massive jump because when when you have a 360, you get used to it, you get used to the controller and the interface, you get used to actually having to pay for it monthly. I always has I always had to ask my mom because I was like, in my teen years, I'd have to ask my mom like, I need to go online. Can you help me with this? Can I can I get the gold so I can play online? But with the PS3, you just hook it up. Um, the UI is amazing. The like main screen looks amazing and beautiful. There's a whole bunch of like wallpaper you can get. You can put music on your PS3. Um, actually, I should think the 360 you can put music on too. But you know the PS3 when I when I went to the PlayStation 3, which is a very different experience, and in my opinion, it was a better experience than the Xbox 360 because the console was more reliable, more durable. It's not gonna blow up on me if I decide to play some Killzone trilogy. Um, it's not going to, you know. 
have really that many issues. Um, because, you know, that's, that's just all. But I'm in the video. I'm not going to keep this video going. But I just want to make a quick video on pretty much my reasons why the PS3 is better. And why the PlayStation 3 outsold the Xbox 360. Yes, it's a small amount that PS3 was able to outsell. But the PlayStation 3 still came back in the end to destroy the 360 and be like, yes, the PS3 is the superior console to the 360, and honestly, I really do think it is the superior system, because from my experience, it really is a great console. But anyway, I'm in the video, so peace out, and let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me, or if you don't agree with me. Um, let me know if you are a huge 360 fan, or if you're a huge PS3 fan. Tell me what console you use the most in the 7th generation. But anyway, peace out. PlayStation 3, better than the 360, oh yeah.